I recently did a deep dive into data from the FAA. I was looking at lithium-ion battery-related fires in flight. And I'm not talking about equipment associated with the aircraft. I'm talking about personal devices, cell phones, electronic cigarettes, portable batteries, laptops. And the numbers kind of surprised me. When you stop and think about it, it's really incredible how many devices we carry with us on a daily basis that have lithium-ion batteries. Cell phones, electronic cigarettes, portable batteries, laptops, headphones, everything has a lithium-ion power battery. And when we fly, it's no different. These types of devices, sometimes two, three, four devices in your carry-on or on your person when you're flying through the skies. But how often do these devices fail? When you look at the numbers, it's actually kind of concerning. I did a deep dive into the last 10 years, and really things started to pick up around 2016. If you're old enough to remember, that's when the Samsung Note came out, and there are all sorts of fires around that cell phone. Interestingly enough, the FAA banned the Samsung Note from being on aircraft, even though there are only eight reported fires in 2016 involving cell phones. And that's a stark difference from what we're seeing today. If you look at the data, year over year, we're seeing an increase in fires on aircraft. Leading up to the last two years where we've had two consecutive years where there's been 63 fires related to lithium-ion batteries. And while those numbers seem fairly large, when you break it out, it's kind of tied between portable batteries and electronic cigarettes. Just something to note, devices that fall under this other category, tablets, tracking devices, personal fans, ear pods, toys, flashlights, cameras, speakers, socks, medical devices. There's a number of devices that contain lithium ion batteries that you would never even expect. Now the data in this video is only for passenger aircraft. I'm not talking about cargo aircraft at this time. After really looking at the data, I found a number of trends on what actually causes those failures. And when I start talking about it later in the video, you'll understand some of the messaging you actually get from the flight attendants while you're on those aircraft. Now I broke the data really into two categories, aircraft fires that happened while the plane was in flight and aircraft fires that happened while the plane was on the ground. In the passenger compartment of the aircraft, the flight attendants, they're trained to deal with these incidents. They're trained to get them either in a fire bag or a container filled with water in order to stop that fire. Just because there was a fire or some type of fire related incident on board doesn't mean the aircraft had to declare an emergency. On many of these flights, the aircraft just continued to its destination. It's really concerning when you see some of these fires actually happen in the cargo hold of the aircraft. As we look at the data from fires that happen on the ground, it's actually surprising how many of these fires happen in check baggage as either the crew is loading the baggage into the cargo hold or pulling it out of the cargo hold after the flight. Many of these incident reports actually talked about the baggage handlers dealing with smoking luggage. One of the stranger incidents involved a battery-powered welder that was inside a passenger's check baggage. I was really surprised that these incidents happen about once a week. Some of the things people do are really surprising. While flying to your destination, you want to just sit back, relax, enjoy your peanuts, enjoy your cup of mediocre coffee. You know, it would be great if the coffee was as good as this fire department coffee up here, my new affiliate, but it's not. And you get passengers to get rowdy. They start getting into a tussle. Well, there have been incidents like the incident that happened back in 2021, where during that fight, a cell phone was smashed, caught on fire mid-flight. Another incident was a guy that got angry and he took his cell phone, he broke it in half, caused a fire. But the number one cause of fires in flight are actually people just dropping their cell phones into the seat. If you lose an electronic device in your seat, do not adjust your seat and ask a crew member for help. It gets into the seat, it gets wedged in there, they recline their seat, it smashes the cell phone, the cell phone bursts into flames. Now, I want to reiterate, the flight crews are trained to handle these types of situations. And everything that's classified as a fire isn't necessarily an energetic event. Some of them are extremely energetic and require the flight to turn around. But other events are simply the device smoking or getting extremely hot and the flight crew taking care of it at that point. TSA does limit the size of battery that you can carry on an aircraft, and that should help keep the skies safe. One thing that's important to remember, the state of charge really matters when it comes to these types of failures. Devices that are fully charged up, they cause the most problem. And if you want to learn more about the state of charge and why it matters, click this video right here.